Hello, folks. This is Town Supervisor Joseph D. Cavasini coming to you today from an amazing local organization, enterprise, nonprofit here in the town of Wappinger, and that is Unshattered. Uh, since I've taken office, we've really spotlighted a number of our organizations throughout the town of Wappinger, uh, but Unshattered has truly shined uh, since coming into our town just about a year ago. Um, if you've driven down Route 376, you'll know that the old castle building, long abandoned and kind of forgotten, uh, has seen new life come to it, and that is because Unshattered, an amazing organization, uh, has made this their new home. They have a new boutique set up here, um, as well as their manufacturing site for their bags and things like that. I'm joined today by Donna, uh, and uh, she's going to go into more of the intricacies and the background of Unshattered, what they do for our community, and the impact that they have uh, in the lives of so many here in our town. So, Donna, thank you for uh, letting us spotlight you guys yeah. today. Well, thank you so much for shining a spotlight on the work that Unshattered does. Um, my name is Donna Spinella. I'm the Senior Marketing and Partnership Manager here at Unshattered. And Unshattered is a 501c3 nonprofit social enterprise that whose mission is to end the addiction relapse cycle. So we provide more than second chance employment. We provide workforce development as well as a step into the fashion and accessory industry for women when they come out of addiction recovery programs. They often don't have um, the work experience and sometimes the education to enter that industry on their own. And that is where Unshattered is able to bring new life to not only a building, but the lives of these women who are winning their battle against addiction. Thank you, Donna. And again, the impacts that you folks have had on so many women uh, across our region is is truly tremendous. Um, not only are you, again, giving a second chance at life at this building and adaptive reuse, but again, you are really motivating folks and, and getting people uh, you know, back on track. And, and I love the concept of the bags here, too, because it's all from upcycled materials, correct? Uh, I believe that you have partnerships with airlines, with uh, West Point, with all these different you know organizations and companies around around the world, really. Uh, you were on the Ke Kelly Clarkson show. Your founder, Kelly, was on there. Um, so, you know, the word keeps getting out. And, you know, we're, we're very excited to see that. We're very proud to have you here in the town of Wappinger. And uh, why don't you go through some of the bags here? We are in the boutique portion of the building, folks. So, Donna, why don't you kind of bring us through what we see right here? Sure. So, yes, this is um, our boutique. Um, you can come right in. It's the glass doors of the old castle building on 376. Um, and all of these bags are made from upcycled, reclaimed materials. So some of these are manufacturing overages from high-end textile companies that outfit hotels and resorts such as Atlantis Bahamas and Marriott, etc. cetera. Um, we also have bags made out of upcycled luxury car materials such as Porsche, Tesla, um, and Mercedes-Benz. And one of our biggest partners is Southwest Airlines, which we have every four years, they refurbish their planes and we use their um, formerly used leather to create a line of travel bags. So everything is upcycled and the sentiment of new life is just shown throughout the organization. Fantastic. And again, if folks want to come by, you're open during normal business hours. You know, uh, you're also online as well, yes. unshattered.org. Right? Yes. Yep. So you can, sorry, <laughs> you can shop at unshattered.org or you can come visit us in store and meet some of the team members who design and make all of these beautifully handcrafted bags. We're open Monday through Saturday from 830 to 430. Um, and we would love to see you in. All right. So we got a good concept here, good grasp on the boutique, the public-facing side of it. Uh, now we're going to go take a look in the behind-the-scenes, the actual making of these bags, and the true meaning of Unshattered and, and the impact that you have on the lives of so many women. So we're going to go check that out right now. Come follow us. So 
So not only has Unshattered adaptively reused this building currently, but they are also moving forward with millions of dollars in positive economic development on this site and in this campus. The image that you just saw on your screen uh, reflects the future goals and the future vision of this building and of this campus. Unshattered is truly here to stay. They're here and they are committed to helping our community. And uh, again, the partnerships that they've developed in creating this space and what it will be is truly a landmark and it's the type of development and the type of business we want to see here in the town of Wappinger. Here we are with Chanel, one of Unshattered's employees and real success stories. Um, I've gotten to know Chanel a little bit from going to different events and popping by Unshattered here. Um, and we are honored to have you come on the, uh, the show today and share with the town residents, your neighbors, your story and where you've come from and how you are today. So Chanel, would you mind sharing your background and, and how Unshattered has assisted you? Sure. Well, I'm Chanel. I'm 34 years old. I'm originally from Syracuse, New York. I entered my residential program in March of 2021. Um, I did four months by myself, and then my daughter, who was four at the time, was able to come join me, and that changed my entire life. I knew when my daughter came that I could not go back to Syracuse. So once I had the option to come um, tour Unshattered, and I knew it was a, I knew it once I came here, it was a place for me to be able to start the rest of my life. So um, I finished my program this year, this month, July will be two years I've actually been a part of the team here at Unshattered. So me and my daughter are now Wappinger residents and um, I love it. Unshattered has changed my life. Thank you, Chanel, for sharing that. And, and right here, this is your station. Is. So why don't you tell us a little bit what you're doing and, and the symbolism behind a lot of what you folks do as well. Well, right now I am making a clip pouch. Um, I am not just a seamstress. I am the boutique lead. So I sit right here and I watch the door. So when customers come in, I'm the first one to greet you. But our bags, I don't know if you guys were informed, they have three secrets. Every bag has a gold line, which is the nod to the Japanese form of art called kintsuki which means beautifully made from broken pieces like us ladies in recovery. The next secret is every bag is dedicated to somebody still out sick and suffering. So as we make the bags, we pray and we just have hope for, the, for that person to find hope like we did. And the third secret is before we close the bag up, there's a message inside. Either our clean day, a scripture, a poem, something that to encourage the buyer. So again, I, I, from the first time I ever heard that, I, I, I was just so moved by it because it's not just a handbag, folks, that you're getting. It is not just something that was made by someone in recovery. The symbolism and the messaging behind each item that you see here at Unshattered is, is truly an amazing, amazing thing. And it has amazing symbolism and, again, something that we're so proud to have in the town. We're proud to have you as a resident. And um, I was going to say, is there anything else that you would like to add and contribute to let folks know about Unshattered and how else they can get involved maybe? Or? I think you guys should stop in and see for yourself. I mean, we also do have ways you can contribute. We have um, four contribution plans going on, going on right now you can donate to. You can donate to um, us having a life coach. You can donate to new members coming onto the team. I think the only way you guys can experience it if you just come in and check it out for yourself. You also can check our website out. We have different ways you can contribute. Thank you so much, Chanel. We're going to be taking a tour of the rest of the facilities. Thank you. Thank you. So this is just some of our reclaimed materials here that we use. Um, all of our team members are involved in the bag process from the design to the cutting and kitting to the sewing and then the merchandising. All of these rolls of fabric were destined for a landfill, but we are turning them into something beautiful. So this is one of the areas that, as you can see, has clearly not been renovated yet, but we have still made it beautiful and able to be used um, in healing-centered development ways. So right here is where we sit every Friday, and we read customer reviews. We go over feedback, what worked, what didn't, what we struggled with, and what we learned throughout the week. Um, one of the big components of Unshattered is the healing-centered development that takes place among all of the team members here. We like to say that addiction is not a problem of substance, but a problem of pain. So it's really a full-scope healing-centered, not just an employment center. So at Unshattered, we make a net positive economic impact on the community of $150,000 per woman that we employ here. 
So every element of the bags and accessories that we sell is created right here at Unshattered by the women that you are supporting who are winning their battle against addiction. We have an 18-point quality control, um, so every single bag that you are getting is top-notch premium quality that has been triple-checked by our employees, so we know you are getting a quality product. So we hope that you enjoyed this little insight into Unshattered and the impact it truly has on so many in our community, and I hope that you consider stopping by. Uh, before we close out, I do also want to point out that this um, shelving unit here displays some of their bags from their Southwest Airlines collection. Donna, would you be able to go into a little more detail about this upcycled product? Absolutely. So we are one of Southwest Airlines Repurpose with Purpose partners, where when they refurbish their airplanes, they clean and send the leather to us, which we transform into these beautiful travel bags. So you might recognize the seat back pockets on this travel tote or the um, southwest blue of the leather. Every single one is designed and handmade by our team of women here out of the upcycled airline material. So we do hope that you consider stopping by the boutique, joining them online at unshattered.org, potentially buying a handbag as well. Um, and by doing so, you become an ambassador of possibility. And that is one thing I'm very proud to be and support you folks. But I hope that our neighbors and residents here in the town of Wappager would consider also supporting this amazing nonprofit that does so much for our community. Until then, we encourage you to continue to stay in the loop with the town of Wappinger. Join us on Facebook, social media, Instagram, Wappinger Delivery, and as well, always check out our town board meetings for more information as to what's going on in your hometown. Thank you very much again. This has been Town Supervisor Joseph D. Cavasini here at Unshattered, and we'll see you around town.